My parents were very traditional. They were about God, family, and country. Growing up, we were that family that debated politics and policy at the dinner table. We would have very, very spirited debates and arguments. There were no hard feelings, but my parents injected that in us that we were expected to have strong opinions and voice them. I was born in Westwood, New Jersey at Pascag Valley Hospital. My parents grew up in New York City. They very much wanted us to live in more open space. And so we moved to Altapan in 1968. Altapan was a great town to grow up in. Americana at its best, you know, Little League Baseball and, and great schools and a great community feel to it. And my uh, father's name was Fred. He was the youngest of eight. All of my aunts and uncles on that side of the family were Democrats, including my own dad. He voted for President Kennedy. And after President Kennedy was assassinated, he switched parties. He didn't think the other leaders in the Democratic Party spoke to the values that he had. And he became a Republican, and he was a Republican councilman. But what we learned from that family was about just whether you're Republican or Democrat, most people who are attracted to public policy want to serve others, want to give back to those most in need. And those were the principles they brought to us. I had gone to Bergen Catholic High School, got a great education there, and that set me on the path for Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. Sort of traditional Jesuit institution. When I was a freshman there, I was exposed to lots of different ways of thinking about my faith and what it meant, and was it real? And that was sort of a painstaking process that was not the most enjoyable process to go through. But in the end, I, I stayed the proud Catholic uh, that I always was, but with a different vision and a different understanding about what other religions are about. After I graduated from Georgetown University, I knew I didn't want to go to graduate school or law school right away, so I ended up working on Capitol Hill for our former Congresswoman, Marge Rockema. I did legislative research, got involved in press work, dealing with the media, and it was during that time I decided to go to law school, and I chose to go back to New Jersey. I went to Seton Hall Law School, I knew politics and public policy was in my DNA. So opportunity knocked in 2009 when there was an opening on the Wyckoff Township Committee and I was urged by many friends to run. I served one term um, on the council and I, was, I became mayor of Wyckoff in 2012. And as I got into public life, I knew that this is something I wanted to continue to do. So opportunity knocked again in 2017 to run for state assembly when there was a vacancy. But family comes first, and that's what my parents taught us. My wife Patty and I have been married since 1995. Patty is a fantastic mom, a savvy businesswoman, sort of the rock in our family. Patty has always been a really good sounding board for me on public policy issues. She's a real good gut check for me on things that matter to families, to business people. I think she knows what works and what doesn't from the position of being a mom, you know, raising four kids and being someone always involved with her own career. And now that I've been in the legislature, I do run issues by her to get her sort of common sense approach to it. And that helps bring me back down to where it matters, which is right here in the community. It's about serving our neighbors, you know, the people in the state, the businesses, the families that want to stay here and uh, thrive here. Most people who enter public life have that drive to give back to their communities, to serve others. I keep hearkening back to my years at Georgetown and Jesuit education was always and always will be about serving others, finding solutions for them, and I think that is in my DNA.